Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be my review of the Extrify M8 Wireless. This is a new small form factor mouse from Extrify. I have two colorways here. I have the Retro and the Frozen Llama colorway here. Definitely a Fortnite colored theme. And I am going to be giving away this one on my Twitter page. You guys can head there and look at the details when they come out tomorrow. I will try to get this out to you guys before the holidays. So it will be a fast turnaround giveaway. But let's talk objectively about the mouse. And this video is going to be in a different format. I just want to talk about the mouse, give you guys my opinions, give you guys my thoughts instead of kind of editing and parsing things out. Let's just go with the flow, see how it goes and get you guys all the information and how I feel about the mouse. But it is a lightweight mouse coming in at 55 grams. It is very small. It is so small compared to the G Pro Super Light in the hand that it is something that kind of I am forced into an aggressive claw, especially with the way that the low profile button height is on mouse one and mouse two. You guys can see that because of that low profile button height, the USB-C charging port actually is on the bottom right side of the mouse. And a lot of you guys are probably wondering, does that affect me if I am wanting to use the mouse in wired format? and charge the mouse while I am playing. And I can tell you guys, it really is not that much of an issue at all. At first, I thought it was going to be a pain in the butt, but it actually feels pretty good. The cable definitely stays out of your way. If your hand kind of goes downward on the mouse, you will feel the cable protruding from that socket. And every once in a while during fast flicks, I was able to feel the cable kind of hit my hand. There was once or twice the cable went under the mouse during fast repositioning when I was on low sensitivity. But my everyday sensitivity, it really was not that much of an issue. But I could see how a very low sense player could have somewhat of an issue if you wanted to use the mouse in wired format. But really, I would have had that issue with the cable plugged in at the front center of the mouse anyway. So I don't really see it being detrimental compared to where the cable originally would be placed. Getting into that low profile button height that is new, you guys can kind of see it compared to something like the G Pro Superlight. You just remove that area on the bottom side of the mouse where that USB or micro USB port is to charge the mouse. And it actually feels really good. What it makes me do, because I'm a large handed user, it kind of feels unnatural just letting my hand rest down the front of those uh, buttons that are very low profile. So I actually kind of bring my fingers up. And when I do that, it kind of forces me into a relaxed claw grip. And I really enjoy that. It feels good for me when I am kind of forced into that grip because I'm very bad at consciously making myself use that grip, even though I know I play better with that type of a grip because I do get a little bit more inner hand maneuverability. My angles feel a little bit more aggressive and I'm kind of able to do things just with more minor movements of my wrist and my arm that I can't do otherwise. So I do really enjoy the mouse and with that grip style, it actually makes me more comfortable on the mouse. I don't have that right uh, ring finger or pinky finger discomfort that I had on the Ninjutsu Sora. And it's something that I think a lot of small handed users are really going to enjoy too, because you'll, you'll still be able to incorporate an aggressive claw grip on this mouse. But even if you were to have smaller hands and you wanted to kind of palm this, it is such a better option for you guys than the G Pro Super Light, which this mouse actually comes very similar to in how it looks. It is definitely what I keep referring to as the toys, well, Baby's RS version of the G Pro Super Light, but it feels so good and I really do enjoy the new tech in the mouse. In terms of the switches, the switches with that low profile button height to me on both copies of the mouse feel extremely good, very tactile very poppy you guys can hear it is good implementation of switches here and definitely the best feeling plastic on an extra fine mouse the m42 and a lot of their prior iterations of their mice just have plastic to me that always felt kind of cheap a little muggy a little swampy this is pretty good i definitely think that the coating on this is better than something like the ninjutsu sora and i do enjoy the fact that the side buttons are matte they are not glossy so I don't have that issue of the side buttons getting like really muddy or swampy in my really humid climate. And getting into just size and shape comparisons, I know I mentioned it earlier in the video that the mouse kind of to me is like the Baby's R Us version of the G Pro Super Light. And that's really just because in hand it feels so much smaller than a G Pro Super Light. Again, something that I can really get a aggressive claw on, just so much more inner hand maneuverability. None of the underside of my palm makes any contact with the mouse at all with my large sized hands. 
I personally think that the build quality feels just as good as something actually probably better than the G Pro Superlight, considering my side buttons are just so mushy. The side flex is pretty poor on mouse one and mouse two. So the build quality here is great, lives up to the standards of what we would expect from big named companies. And I do think that the size here for small handed users, if you are looking for something that is smaller than the Pulsar X2, this will definitely hit the mark. It is something that is somewhat potato ish shaped like the G Pro Super Lite. Uh, but again, in hand, it's going to feel quite different. It's just so much smaller that it's hard to kind of say, yeah, it's a G Pro Super Lite clone. It's not. It's just very, very small. It just kind of has those same kind of angles as the G Pro Super Lite in a smaller form factor. The uh, hump is very gradual, not something with a targeted hump like the Pulsar X2. Again, you can see that size comparison there. It is kind of more along the lines of the size of the Pulsar uh, small, the Pulsar X2 small. It is actually a little bit kind of longer or about the same length as a Cooler Master MM712, uh, but the MM712 in hand just feels so much wider. It is definitely easier to kind of get more aggressive with your grip on the Extrify M8. If you're looking for something that fills your hand out more, the MM712 is definitely going to provide that. The Extrify M8, again, is something that will feel more open, more airy on the underside of your palm. And again, compared to the Nijutsu Sora, you guys can see it is definitely smaller feeling than the Nijutsu Sora and has just more of a potato-like shape like the G Pro Super Light compared to something like the Ninjutsu Sora that kind of has vibes of like, you know, an XM1 Mini or Lanzu Mini. Of course, different in its own way, uh, but just how that hump is kind of angled and then the angles kind of from the base of the mouse to the front of the mouse, whereas the Extrify M8 kind of stays somewhat consistent throughout like the G Pro Superlight does, except for that kind of tapering in in the middle and then coming back up towards mouse one and mouse two. So I think that the extra Fi M8 is a really nice mouse, something that feels, in my opinion, unique on the market. I love the low profile button height. I love the coating on the mouse. I love the switch feel. Build integrity here is strong. Overall, just an extremely fun mouse that I personally am very glad that I have a copy of. It's not going to be my main mouse just for comfort and consistency reasons, but if I'm ever looking for that nice, fast car, kind of like, you know, taking a sports car out on the weekends, the Extrafy M8 would definitely be on the top of my list. It's just such a fun mouse to use, and I had just so much fun in Call of Duty, Apex, and Valorant, a really awesome experience. And I think a lot of you guys are really going to enjoy this from large hands to medium hands to small hands. I think the Extrafy M8 is definitely certified fresh. For me, the mouse is just a lot of fun for Apex tracking type scenarios, as well as Valorant with those nice little flicks and steady aim. It's something that I think really works well for both use case scenarios. For me, because my hands are so large, I have a similar issue that I had with the Sora. I just find myself a little bit more consistent for tracking type scenarios on larger mice. But again, a mouse that is just so much fun. I'm really glad I own it. And I am going to continuously bring this out because at least for COD, for Apex, it's something that I just have an experience on that I don't quite get with the other mice in my lineup. I'm forced into that claw grip in that small form factor. And it's just unique for me and a whole heck of a lot of fun. So I'm glad I own it. And again, I think all of you from a wide array of that bracket of small handed, medium handed, large handed users, I think a lot of you are gonna get enjoyment with the Extrafy M8. I hope it helped guys. If it did, please leave a sub to the channel. I'm gonna get some more games in guys and I'll see you in the next review. Peace.